We live in a society with a serious drug dependency. So much so, it's warped our mentality and understanding of health, of ourselves, of our roots. We basically eat shit, get sick, take that to cure this, with insane short and long-term side effects, of course. We're so disconnected with ourselves that when we get sick, we sincerely wonder, why, how? Even the words fat or obese are considered insults now, not reality. These new social norms, this out-of-touch mentality, is killing us. Being healthy is not about a gym membership, bland food, supplements, or labels. It's a lifestyle. It's a mentality. It's a habit of balance. Every part of you interacts with your environment. Your mouth isn't the only thing that eats. Your skin eats. Your hair eats, your eyes, nose, and ears eat. You are a whole person, and the only way to truly reconnect with yourself and achieve good health is to start with self-love through self-study. I was born and raised in America, but I'm 100% Nigerian, so I grew up eating traditional foods like igusi, erikankong, stew, okra, bitter leaf, pepper soup. For the Nigerians watching, you know the drill. On top of that, my mom was the type that would rather source her ingredients from farmers markets and actual farms, and she never made her food oily. African food in general is so good that as a kid, I don't remember eating or even wanting to eat packaged foods much. These stews are ancient. Our people have been eating these recipes for generations. By our people, I mean current and not so current Africans spread all around the diaspora. What do you notice about these foods? That's right, they're all vegetable and herbal based. No matter what part of the diaspora you're from, if your ancestors are West African, your DNA requires you to eat a lot of herbs and vegetables for optimal health. Foods with the most electricity. So the first thing you can do to boost your immune system now and for the long haul is to reconnect with your ancestral culture through food. The great news is that Africans in Africa are so tribally diverse. There's so many different types of African food, it's mind blowing. There are even other countries or tribes that are not on the African continent that held on to their African roots through cuisine. So if one of these images I've been showing sparked something in you, rewind this video and go back to it. I included the country's name and the name of the dish in every image. I know from being human that everyone is in a different place in their journey and may not be ready right now to make a pretty major change to their diet. So the next two things you can do to boost your immune system are simple, cheap, and very, very, very efficient. So you can do them now. Keep in mind that you are what you eat, literally. So you're gonna always sooner than later have to change your diet. But if you can do these next two simple things now and stick to them, it'll be a huge game changer. A quick thing you can do right now to help boost your immune system and positively impact your health is to get rid of your microwave and replace it with a regular non-radiation toaster oven. Microwaves heat up food so fast because they use electromagnetic waves to penetrate the tiny, tiny molecules in food and heat them up from the inside out. This is pretty much the worst thing you can do to your food because heating up the molecules in food with penetrating radiation dries up and destroys the even tinier minerals or atoms inside of them. Minerals are so, 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 so needed for your body, your brain, your bones, your heart, and your hormones to function properly. In my opinion, good mineral intake is what makes you naturally, aesthetically beautiful and young looking. Each atom or mineral has an electrical charge current called electrons. So minerals literally put electricity 
puts life into your body. So apart from patching up and preserving everything in and out your body, they give you internal balance and rhythm through pure electricity. It's a beautiful thing. You've probably heard of something called electrolytes, but unfortunately, due to companies marketing just for profit, we're made to believe packaged products with the word electrolytes on the label is the only way to add electrolytes to your body. Electrolyte is basically a complicated way of saying electricity. And these packaged products have nothing on the electricity and the overall health benefits that real non-synthetic minerals from fruits, herbs, and vegetables put in your body. They're no match. So as you can see, I'm really into and serious about minerals. I can make a whole documentary on them. That's how important they are. So to use something like a microwave that targets and destroys the minerals in food is so not worth the extra 10 minutes. Toaster ovens use plain old heat from hot coils, not radiation. So it heats up the surface of your food. It doesn't go anywhere near the tiny minerals deep inside to heat up your food. You can find toaster ovens anywhere and they're super cheap. Just make sure to confirm that it does not use any form of radiation because radiation functionality is hidden in a lot of kitchen appliances. There are two ways to better your health and increase your immune system. One is to increase your mineral intake and the other is to reduce your exposure to toxins. They work hand in hand. So the next suggestion has more to do with reducing your internal exposure to toxins. So it's a big one. Switch out all the plastics and toxic dishes in your kitchen for toxic free dishes, preferably lead and cadmium free glasses. In the world we live in, it's true. There's toxins everywhere. And I've seen people comment here and there, why bother? Don't let information overload make you feel defeated. Whenever something feels too complicated, break it down into smaller, more simpler pieces and start somewhere. Because the reality is that there are a whole bunch of small things you can do to minimize your exposure to toxins, even if you live in a toxic world. Most of us don't think twice when it comes to our dishes. We focus more on the food and view dishes more for their functionality. But did you know that there are tons of toxins in most dishes? The worst are plastics and dishes with those pretty drawings on them. And it doesn't take much for those toxins to leach out into our food and into our body. We interact with our dishes so much that this simple act can make a huge difference. There's so many great brands out there that make toxic free dishes. I personally like to use toxic free glass because glass is very simple and doesn't require so much of a intricate recipe to make. So these three simple lifestyle changes can make a huge difference to your health. And remember, true beauty is about health and balance. So start somewhere and stick with it until it becomes a habit. Considering the times we're in, in the next video, I'm gonna show you a simple nighttime and morning habit I've been doing for years, and no joke, it's literally changed my life. I really hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.